Eric Bailly has done an interview which has been released today which accuses Manchester United of favouring English players in team selection. It's quite a serious accusation from Eric Bailly. And I'm going to have a look if there's any merit to what he's saying or is it just a little bit of sour grapes? I'm going to have a look at both sides and then give you my thoughts on this. But I'll give you the quotes and here's what he said. He said, the club should avoid favouring English players and give everyone a chance. The club should encourage competition in the dressing room, not just look out for some. I've always had the feeling that the national player was prioritised. That doesn't happen at Chelsea or other big Premier League clubs. Some take it for granted they are going to start and that weakens the team. Luckily, Ten Hag has a lot of character and I hope he can change that dynamic. He does go on to say that he doesn't regret signing for United. And he said, I was Jose Mourinho's first signing and I also had some good moments where titles were won. I played in important games and in some I was chosen as the best player. I think when I was given the opportunity, I rose to the occasion. I just lacked consistency because I think I deserved more minutes. So, <laughs> I think what he's doing here is, is accusing Manchester United of favouring Harry Maguire over himself because he is really the only English player that is consistently selected in his place. Axel Tuanzebe, Ted Mengi, Deshaun Bernard, these guys aren't getting selected and, and clearly Phil Jones isn't getting selected either. So it has to be Harry Maguire that he's got a little bit of a gripe with. I would say that he has some bit of a point on this one, um, on the surface of things. Harry Maguire was selected week in, week out, to his credit, and you know, anyone who watches me and watches this channel knows I'm not exactly Harry Maguire's biggest fan here. To his credit, Harry Maguire was a very durable player, um, and availability is the best ability. And I think up until last season, that was something that, Eric Bailly had no right to question. Eric Bailly featured 113 times for Manchester United. And my adding up of the injuries that he missed games with, uh, according to Transfer Marked, shows that he missed around about 100 games for United. Now, missing 100 games and only playing 113 really adds a lot of weight to the fact that Eric Bailly wasn't a reliable player when it came to injuries. Now, I would say that I think on aggregate, his performances for Manchester United were probably at a higher level than those that Harry Maguire's have been on aggregate over his time at the club. But Eric Bailly would be one that would be getting constantly injured. Now, he does mention himself he thought he deserved more minutes uh, and he lacked consistency because of that. And I agree, his consistency wasn't flawless and it must be difficult coming out of the team and, and trying to gain that sort of consistency. But his availability wasn't consistent either. And that's no one's fault. If he's looking after himself, and I'm just going to assume that he is, I don't hear any things to the contrary about Eric Bayern. He played the game full-blooded. He's the kind of guy that I can see just picking up knocks because he's throwing himself into tackles because he's got that real defender's instinct to put himself in harm's way to prevent a goal. Ultimately, that leads to injuries. Brian Robson had the same sort of thing. Phil Jones kind of suffers from the same sort of thing. And, and sometimes players' careers get cut short because they are just all action, full-blooded. Wayne Rooney, potentially another one. Last season, there's a bit of merit to his argument. According to Transfer Marks, he only missed four games through injury last season. Um... And that was from February 3rd to 16th. 13 days, four games with an ankle injury. And that's the only injury that we've got on record for Eric Bailly last season. Which might suggest that he was available a lot more than he was given minutes for. Now, if we cast our minds back to that Liverpool game, where United got absolutely spanked and Harry Maguire was dreadful in that game, I'm almost certain he played the next game and he certainly didn't lose his place and certainly was never given an extended period on the sideline, and, and nor was Luke Shaw, who I thought was equally culpable and, and poor in that game. If he truly was only missing for four games last season, then there is some merit to the fact that Eric Bayou was not selected when he was available. However, he's not the first player to do a disgruntled interview upon going on loan away from Manchester United this summer. Dean Henderson has also done one, 
very disparaging of the club and their treatment of him. Now, clearly the players don't have the same argument, even if they had the same sort of treatment at the hands of the club. Promised minutes, they believe they deserved minutes, watching poor performances of players in their position and didn't get the opportunity and have now gone out on loan looking for first-team football and, and to reignite their careers. But the main difference with this one being Dean Henderson's obviously an English player. You can't accuse the club of favouring one nationality over the other when you've got a colleague that's gone on loan and done the same thing that you have done who is actually English. Now, like I said, anyone that's watched my thoughts on this channel knows exactly how I feel about Luke Shaw, exactly how I feel about Harry Maguire, and probably how I feel about Aaron Wambasaka. Now, last season, Manchester United had a three-quarters English back line, and we were dreadful. We conceded more goals, I think, than any time in the Premier League era. The stats don't lie. This season, as he maybe alludes to, Eric Ten Hag has just been allowed to select whatever he feels like is the best defence. Varane is fit, which is probably a big thing. He's, he's signed Martinez, benched the club captain to play him, signed Malassia to bench um, Luke Shaw, and as we've seen, Diego Delo has, has been favoured over wan -Bissaka. Can you make a case that Manchester United prefers English players over any other nationality? I don't think you can. I, I can understand Eric Bailly being disgruntled at not being selected um, very much last season. In fact, he played um, just four Premier League games, seven games in total, and only missed four games, which means he was just not selected for 40-ish games last season. He's every right to feel disgruntled when you're sitting on the sideline or sitting in the director's box watching Harry Maguire drop four out of tens. I empathise with that. But I don't think you can say Manchester United, as a policy, has favoured any nationality over another one. And certainly, how do you... If you said it was one manager, maybe that was one manager's preference, but Ralph Rangnick had no loyalty to any particular player. Solskjaer theoretically had no loyalty to any sort of player. You might argue he favoured the, the £80 million signing he brought to the club over someone Jose Mourinho bought to the club. That might be a valid point, but I think there'd be more in the fact that it was his signing rather than the nationality of that player, I would assume. I think it's a very serious accusation that Eric Bailly's made, and I would expect either Manchester United to respond, or considering the fact Eric Bailly is still an employee of Manchester United, I would expect the club to be in touch and ask him to retract this um, or clarify this or maybe excuse it as the press twist in his words. I think that there's there's no problem with being a disgruntled player, especially when you look at the cold hard facts of United played him seven times last season, he was only missing for four. That maths doesn't really add up when you see the sort of performances Harry Maguire was dropping in, in my opinion. But to claim it was because of the nationality of Maguire, you know, I, I think that, I think the one thing Harry had going for him, he was a very durable player. And I think because he was a very durable player, it was easy to select him. I think also because he was the club captain, it does mean that you get selected maybe more often than you perhaps should. Again, I'm not sure that's a nationality thing. I think that's a political thing. He was a, a very expensive signing for the club. He's the club captain. Everyone gets egg on their face when you realise that that didn't work. I've been very impressed that Ten Hag's been able to just go, not my problem. I'm picking the best team I've got. I've spent 60 million on a centre half. Champions League Varane's going to play, and that's my team. It'd be interesting to see what unfolds with this from Eric Bailly, but you guys let me know in the comments. Do you think there has been an English bias at Manchester United? Um, and if so, why is that? And do you think Eric Ten Hag um, is just doing his own thing and being his own man? I mean, I'm very interested to know your thoughts on, on all of all of the above, actually. Uh, hit subscribe, hit like, get your comments in. See you in the next one.
Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.